Hello again and welcome to another edition of Southern Country. Hi, I'm Herb Sedz and welcome to the show, my friends. We're in Nazareth, Pennsylvania today. We're at the Martin Guitar Factory where they've been manufacturing guitars since 1833. And we're going to take you on a tour through the factory. And right beside me here is Chris Thomas, artist relations man. He's going to tell us how the guitars are made and woods used and et cetera, and et cetera, and et cetera. Welcome to the show, Chris. Thank you very much, Herb. It's great to be here. Why, what, show us, tell us how we go here. Okay, well, we start out with this display board showing all the woods that are used to make Martin guitars. Um, the most popular being Indian rosewood, solid mahogany. Sure. As we progress down the wall, we have billets of wood that would be seen in the sawmill um, used to cut out the necks and different components that would be made on the CNC machines, um, such as bridges and fingerboards with fret slots included. We see here how the neck is machined into very close to the shape it's going to end up in. Um, there is some hand rework that will be done to that. As we progress down this way, we have ribbon lining. This is glued inside the bodies to, uh, inside the rims to um, have a surface for the top and back to be glued to. We've got front blocks and rear blocks, all internal parts of the guitar. Moving over here, we have all of the braces that are glued to the inside of the tops and backs to help uh, enforce the guitars, and these are also machined um, on the CNC machines. Uh, here we have tops and rosettes. It is shown here how the rosette is inlaid. Um, different Boltron and wood fiber materials used to make this ornamentation around the sound hole. These are the tops prior to being sent up to the factory. And the backs with the center purfling already installed. Now these are real wood. Yes, that, that's correct. Herb. These are solid tone woods. Um, Indian rosewood, as I said, and uh, genuine mahogany are, are two of the most popular woods that Martin guitars are made of. Going back in history, what was the most popular type of wood? Do you know the most popular type back in the 1800s? Well, I would say it was also mahogany and um, Brazilian rosewood was much more um, accessible back then and some of the, the best Martins ever made historically, uh, and that is through the words of many musicians and historians, have been made from Brazilian rosewood. Okay. Well, you saw how the guitars, parts of the guitar. By the way, how many parts are there to a guitar? Do you know? You went through a bunch pieces? of through a many. How many individual pieces? Well, it will it will vary depending on the model because okay. so, some models will have more bracing and less bracing. But um, there's quite a few. There's quite a few parts. You can see them all on this wall that we just well, came through here at the beginning of the tour. All right, Chris, where are we? What are we be looking at here? Well, what we're looking at, Herb, is the machine room. These are all the CNC machines and different uh, sanding uh, apparatuses that make all those little components that we saw on the display boards a little while ago. And how many people are involved in hand, how much hand work is involved in this? That's what I should say. Well, there is a slight degree of hand work, but mostly what's going on here are automated operations. Um, obviously, the loading of the machines and the unloading of the machines and the maintenance of them um, is important and done by human beings, but this is basically the condensed uh, technology part of our, of our operation. Pretty interesting here. Now, how do they get... Peter, if you can shoot down there at that board right down there, how does... How does that get to be two, those two pieces get to be one? Well, what we'll do is that those two pieces of wood are predetermined that they're going to go together based on the grain pattern. And they're glued together on what we call a clamp carrier, which kind of looks like a big Ferris wheel. And um, the purfling is inserted if, in fact, the instrument gets purfling. And uh, they're glued together. 45 minutes later, they're taken out. You have a guitar back. And the guitar backs are shaped where? Somewhere else along the line? Guitar backs are shaped right over here. Oh, okay. Sure, there's the metal. Sure. Okay, there's the metal outlines. Right. You can see the pro profile of the form. The back is different than the front? The back and the tops are shaped identically until the sound hole is cut out. Until the sound hole is cut out, right. All right. This is pretty interesting. Where are we going from here? From here, we're going to go to see these parts being bent and braced into shape. All right, Chris, tell us what the press is doing. Well, what we're seeing right now is a set of sides being bent into shape to become the rim of a guitar. This is done through a heated press and um, by introducing a little bit of moisture to the wood, uh, they bend right into shape in about six minutes. And that, 
Take each set takes six minutes. That, that press works itself around there. That's pretty interesting. And each set, well, each guitar has a different width of sets. What? There it is, different size, different width. And this is all computer driven now. Exactly, right. That's pretty interesting the way that, and it's burning now. Isn't it, a, is it heating it or what the, is it? The water is boiling a little bit, but that's, that's a normal part of the process. And from here, what will happen is these rims will be taken out, as you can see over here. To your left. Wow. Now, she's spraying, what, what's she spraying? This, that, that, that's, that's just the plain old water, plain old water. And she's gonna put that in the press next. Absolutely, right. And with the heat and the moisture uh, combined, it is all it takes to bend those sides into shape. They'll then be glued up into a rim with a front and rear block and braced with ribbons to get ready for a top and back. Unbelievable. Watch this. This is, this is really interesting. Look at that. She's setting it up now? It's actually bending into shape right now. This is really interesting. We're getting ready to look at a Merle Haggard video, but this is more interesting, you know? This is really more interesting. All right. All right. Well, as these sides of the guitars get bent into shape, you got to take a look at Merle Haggard, who plays a Martin guitar. Absolutely. His own signature series Martin guitar. Wow. Okay. All right, Chris, tell us what this lady's doing here. Basically, what you see here, Herb, is the rims, after they've been bent into shape, the front and the rear blocks have been glued in, we'll be gluing in the ribbon lining, which will allow, which will create a surface, basically, for the top and the back to be glued to the rim. This is done by using wood glue and clothespins, um, an age-old tool that is, has been continuing to work for us. And how long does those clothespins have to stay on there before that glue tightens up enough to take them off? Um, well, we have it set up in a way that um, the operators can go through a cycle, so approximately 25 minutes, half an hour. Okay. There's no heat or anything, it's just normal glue. Right, exactly. Well, we are at the body assembly station, and what Patrick is doing is he's preparing a rim for the top and the back to be glued on. You can see laying in front of him the top has already been braced. The back has been braced as well. The rim has been ribboned and sanded, and the little notches in the ribbon have been routed out for the, to accommodate the ends of the braces. And what he's going to do after he glues that rim is put the top and the back in place, put it into one of these presses, and very carefully line up the center line so that the top and the back are perfectly straight. Apply the pressure and let it remain there until it's ready to come out. Just question, how many rejects do you get? How many rejects? Yeah, that don't sound good or something. Well, that's usually determined at the end of the line when we're listening to them play. Quality assembly at the end, huh? Right. Quality assurance. Quality assurance. All right. We're going to continue on through the uh, line here. What's next, Chris? Well, basically, um, we'll be heading into the sanding department and shortly into the finishing hall. Okay. Well, Melody, tell me what you're doing here. This is pretty intricate work, what you're doing. I'm putting pearl in the channels. Okay, what was it? What a, now, this is for a more upgraded guitar? Yes, it is. More expensive. The more, the more pearls, the more upgrade? Most likely. And I want to ask you that question. Does it make the sound any different? Mm, that's controversial, I imagine. <laughs> and how long does it take you to put this pearl into a whole guitar all the way around both sides? Mm, it all depends on what guitar it is. Sometimes it takes a couple hours. To each guitar? Yeah. Oh, you have a but this pretty interesting. It's all mitered. You have to, it's, it, every corner is mitered. And this, it takes longer. That's a piece of pearl there, right there? Yes. <laughs> I never saw anything like that. How big a piece do you put in? How, how, long do you, how long is each piece you put in? This is it? This oh. is it. Okay. And you have to break it all in little pieces so it goes around the bends. Yeah, as like you said, a straight piece is not going to do that curve. Nope. Wow. Go ahead. Let's take a picture of this. Take it.
just have to... Wow, look at this. Little enough pieces so it goes around the curve. How long have you been doing it, Mel? One year. I just, I just got into this department last year. What apartment were you before? Lacquer sanding. Okay. I was an inspector up there and a sander. And you sooner do this now? This you, is harder work. Harder work. Very more patience. Simple. Yes, much more patience. Way more patience. Yeah. I mean, both jobs were good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Interesting. But this makes you feel good when you're done when with you're it. When you're done. You, it, you say, oh, I did that. Now, now what, other, what other trim work do they give on guitars other than the pearl inlays? Oh, they put the pick guards, you mean, and the, the necks. They got all... Oh, little special trim work. Oh, for this particular guitar? I think this is about is all they get okay. on this okay. body. Mm. And it's all through here too? Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. It's all look at that. It's all different mm. colors in here. Pretty interesting. Yes, it is. All right. Mel, thank you very much for being on the show. All right. As we continue on, we're gonna go to another department here at the Martin Guitar Factory. What are we looking at here as a finishing process? Well, what Teresa is doing is she's applying wood filler to the rosewood and what that does is it, it gets down, packs down into the pores and dries to set up a foundation for the uh, first coats of finish to be applied. You know, I don't see any robots here. Everybody's doing late manual labor. Exactly. Yes, we, we like to keep the human element alive in the guitar uh, business, definitely. This is, and this is the only Martin Guitar Factory. They're, sh they're shipped worldwide out of this Nazareth, Pennsylvania factory. That is correct. About 250 a day on the average. All different models, all different varieties, all different numbers. All different shapes and sizes and prices. Okay. Now let's move on to another location, Chris. Mike, what are you doing here with this guitar? Uh, stringing it up, inspecting it. Uh, we're going to put it in a case a little later and put it in the warehouse for eight days. What, what do you mean in the warehouse for eight days? Uh, it sits in the warehouse and uh, acclimates. So the, just let the wood kind of naturally move and the neck will, will shift a little bit possibly. Before you ship? Before you ship them? Before we ship it, yeah. You know, how long does it take to string this guitar? Roughly 15-20 minutes to do the complete procedure. And what do you do? To, how do you check the, the strings? Uh, just got to run through and play every, every single fret and you know look it over and... You play guitar? Yeah. Other than here? Yeah, of course. Okay. You got now, it. Now what's the difference between these strings on this str guitar and the more expensive ones or uh, cheaper ones? Um, strings are strings? The str well, strings are strings here because we only use one, one style of strings. We okay. use the Martin SPs, but uh, we have light gauge and medium strings. That's and all we use on the standard models. And on a, on a, when they go out and buy strings somewhere else, they can buy other strings? It, and this doesn't require Martin strings? No, to no. Of course not. Standard, uh, this I is standard on. the Martin strings. But you recommend Martin strings? Yeah, I use them every day, so. Let me ask you a question. What gives the guitar the sound? Uh, that's a secret. Okay, the Martin secret? It's a Martin secret. Okay. We Can't tell you that. Won't touch that one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I appreciate right. it. Okay. No right. Well, let's move on to another section now. Check between seconds. Play, play a little bit. Uh, this guitar sounds good, Mike? Uh, yeah, I think, I think it does. You did a good job then. Uh, yeah, I hope so. I hope I did. Okay. Find out in eight days. <laughs> oh, okay. Everything moves around eight days. Okay. You never know. Okay. okay. Keep it in the warehouse. Okay. As we walk through the factory here, I notice some hand painted guitars. Chris, tell us what the difference is between these and regular guitars. Well, basically, these are part of our X series. Top, back, and sides are made of high pressure laminate material. And the drawings that you see on top are part of a series called the Cowboy Series. Um, this is actually the Cowboy 3. We have the Cowboy 1, 2, and the Hawaiian um, X, which depicts a Hawaiian scene. Basically, the artist Robert Armstrong um, made these original paintings for us, and we, we put them right onto the tops. That's pretty clever. How popular is this model with the, with the artist's paintings? Extremely popular. They've been limited editions to this point, and they've sold out. No kidding. Very good. How long have you been doing these hand-painted ones? Oh, about two years. Two years. Something mm -hmm. new for Martin Guitars. Very new. The entire X-Series is a pretty new uh, venture for us. 
how far back do we go with any of the series here? How far back does that, what's the earliest series that has been continuous right through the Martin guitar uh, production? Well, historically, the standard series has, you know, some of the models that existed 100 years ago have evolved into series that are still, you know, popular today. On our tour through the plant to where we're supposed to go, and Chris, you've been, we stopped at the guitar section, and tell us about this guitar. Right, we're going through the new part of the plant where all the new products are being made, and I thought that it'd be worth mentioning our new aluminum top guitar, um, available in three different sizes, a dreadnought cutaway, a triple O cutaway, and this double O thin body cutaway, uh, made with a 32 thick piece of aluminum for the top, high pressure laminate back and sides. This guitar has become very popular at the trade shows, and, um, combines traditional tones with something kind of new. Now what's this control here? This is the electronics and many of our uh, the new series um, through the 16 and 15 series included uh, we have electronics factory installed. Wow okay electronics hit the acoustic guitars? Absolutely. What's the difference between the electronic versions and the without electronics? Well basically with electronics um, you know stage performers can plug right in oh. and make their adjustments and perform through a PA system where non-electric uh, electronic yeah. guitars can just be played around the campfire and your living room that sort of thing. Okay. This is pretty interesting. This is pretty interesting. How long has this model been made? Oh this is very new. This is a baby. Just about a year. Okay. Popular? So far very. Uh, what kind of musicians majority of musicians buy these? Do you, do you rock musicians or country musicians or? Well, so far it's been kind of a, a contemporary thing, but I have seen some interest from the blues field uh, okay. due to the, to the brightness kind of slide playing style. All right. This doesn't have anything to do with, with um, steel guitars? No, it no. doesn't. This okay. An acoustic guitar can be played just like an acoustic guitar. Okay. Chris, we're in Guitar Row. Yes, we these are. These are our finished products. Yes, they are. These are all the Martin guitars that have been strung up and inspected, and they're waiting eight days before they're reinspected to make sure that everything's just, just right before we send them out to the customer. Now, before, these are all encased in their cases that are going to be shipped to the customer. Now, every guitar comes out of the case and gets replayed again? Gets replayed, retuned, if the neck needs adjustment, which could be the case. It's the very first time it's had string tension. Um, that will all be done, and just to make sure that the quality is right where it should be before the customer gets it. That, that's pretty tedious work, to take every guitar out of this warehouse and open up the case and redo. How long does each guitar get played to, uh, for reinspection? Oh, well, it may take just a few minutes to make sure everything's in tune and feels right and the action is right. It may take 15 minutes if we need to adjust the neck, possibly even remove the saddle and replace the saddle. Wow. Interesting. And by the way, I want to make mention that all the artists in the show play Martin guitars. That's correct. That How many have you met? Well, I've met a few um, pretty high-profile Martin guitar players. and. Um, with my job in artist relations, I, I'm sure I'll be meeting, meeting more, but we've got great relationships with, with some great artists like um, Eric Clapton has four signature series models with us, and you know Merle Haggard has one. We've got, we've got tons of great artists. Well, continued success with your Martin guitars. See you next time here in Southern Country.